Hey there guys and gals, this is Barbie Figueroa with Rise Marketing and Design.com and thank you so much for watching my video. Well in my last video, which I will link right below for you, or I will have it on the end screen so you can check it out at the very end of this video, I was talking to you about how to survey your list so that you can get more fine-tuned information that will help you create the content that your audience actually wants to consume. And I discussed this software that I'm using called JotForm. Well, in the last video, I wasn't able to really dive deep into the software and show you how to create forms and how to embed them into a funnel because the video just would have been way too long. So in this video, I want to go ahead and do that for you. So what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to create a very simple form that you can embed into a funnel or you can share uh, via email through a link or a button on your website so that you can start, you know, getting this information that is going to help you start creating that content that's going to uh, better understand what your audience actually wants to hear from you. So if if you want to take a deep dive into how the JotForm software works so that you can go out there and start asking your audience what they actually want from you, then keep on watching. guys and gals again this is barbie figueroa with rise marketing and design.com please take just one little moment to like this video and subscribe to my channel i would truly truly appreciate that all right guys and gals again i've already done a video showing you how you can use surveys to start getting information from your audience that will help you create the content that they actually want to consume so i will link that video right below in the description box if you want to check it out and if you stay to the end of the video you'll also see it on the end screen I will link it for you right there so without further ado let's go ahead and dive a little bit deeper into the actual job for software and let me show you some of the cool functionalities that it has where you could even maintain your brand integrity visually and how you can create a form so let's go ahead and dive right in All right guys and gals so here we are inside of my job form back office and the first thing I want to do is I want to show you some of the templates that there are available here now there are form templates and there are also card templates. So let's come in here and take a look. So we have different type of form templates that you can use and you can choose by type of form or you can check out by industry. And so I'm gonna go into marketing forms just to see what they have. Now right over here, they've got some really cool templates that we can use that are already done for us. And one of the ones that I really like a lot is a share a testimonial form and you want this to have social proof on your website okay so obviously if you want to create one that is about what kind of content you should be creating you should be thinking about what kind of questions you should be asking your audience like you know what is their biggest challenge things like that and that'll give you a better idea of what kind of content you should create but these are also forms that have a lot of value and that definitely deserve a place on your website, especially a shared testimonial form, because then you can easily give someone a link and they can set, they can fill out a testimonial form for you that then you can use a social proof on your website. So we'll go ahead and preview this form and it's pretty cool. So we go over here and it's already set up for you. And of course you can come in here and you can edit it as you like. So we're just gonna go ahead and use this template okay and you can go ahead and you can uh, edit this however you want now i've already set up my branding so i can just simply click over here and this will give it my branding colors which is really really cool and then you can come over here and even edit the welcome page you can put your picture over here you can change the name over here uh and so that's really cool that you can do that and then just go over here so I can click out of the welcome page, okay? And we're basically just gonna leave it just the way it is for right now, okay? We're gonna check on the settings and we're gonna make sure that it sends it to your email. That way, when someone sends in the form, you're going to get notified that someone filled out the form for you. Now, someone was asking me the other day about integrations and if you wanna check out the integrations that JotForm has, your best bet is to come into your account in the back office under settings when you're creating a form and you can check out all the different integrations over here okay so the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and publish it okay now you have a few options over here you can copy the link or you can embed it into a website 
So what I'm going to do is I am going to show you how to embed it into a Builderall web page so that you can have it actually on your website. So let's go check it out. Okay, so here we are inside of a cheetah page that I have inside of my website and it, I just called it submit a testimonial. Okay. And so what we want to do is we want to have an iframe on this page so that we can embed the script that JotForm is going to give us. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to add an iframe from here. Let's come over here and I'm going to go ahead and bring this into here and let's stretch it out a little bit because I know the form is going to be kind of big. Okay. And then I am going to grab the code from JotForm. Okay. So you're going to go to embed and you're going to just select the uh, script. Okay. So let's go ahead and copy that real quickly. We can just, or copy it from right here. And then let's open our window back up, click over here and enter the code right here and click apply. And you'll see that it comes out right here. Now you can further customize the page if you want to. Uh, but I, I like the way it looks. It looks really good. Okay. So I'm going to bring this open so that we can make sure that the whole form appears. And remember, this is the card form. You can also use the actual form form so that if you just want the whole traditional form to appear on the page, you can do that. I just kind of like the, the, it, it's almost like, um, it's more like interactive when you have the card version. So I really like it. So I'm going to go with that one. Okay. And you'll see that it carries over my branding because you can brand your forms on JotForm. And so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go home and I'm going to republish my site. And then we're going to take a quick look to see what it looks like. So let's come over here. Let's go to the website page. All right. And here it is. It looks so cool, right? So you can come over here and you can start your form and you can submit a testimonial right from here. Okay. And you can have your clients do that. And that way, you know, if you do a coaching program, um, maybe you just want, you know, a testimonial from a project that you did, whatever it is, you can have them instead of, you know, chasing people for testimonials, you can, you know, have the link on your website and ask people to give you testimonials that way. So that's one of the many, many cool ways to use um, job forms on your website. And then if you want to go ahead and create more like a survey, I'll just give you a little quick sneak peek of how I do that. If I come over here, uh, back to my jot form over here. Okay. You'll see that I have a little, uh, survey right here. So like I was saying the other day on my video, let me open up my screen real quick. I was saying the other day on my video, you know, on the very first email, if you want to collect some information that's going to help you create content, then you can just enter some cool basic questions like their name, their email, how did you find me, uh, what kind of business are you in, um, what what is your business, in a few words, please let me know why you decided to take my challenge, things like that. So if you are giving away an ebook or you're creating a little, you know, five day little course or something like that, survey your audience and that is going to help you help them to the highest level possible. And I just love that uh, you can use a uh, job form in a creative way to help you do this. And you can add the uh, script to any builder all page, which is really awesome. Now, the last thing I want to show you really quickly is how you can embed this into a button. So let's go back to job form. All right. And let's come over here to the share a testimonial form. I'm going to go ahead and click on edit the form. All right. So let's go to publish because we've already published it. And then now this time I want to copy a link. Okay. So let's say we want to add it into our page. Let me edit the page that we were working on. And instead, let's just go ahead and add a button really quickly. So let's go to elements. Let's click on button button, button, button right over here. And we'll just put this in here. Okay. And it's super easy peasy. You're going to bring this open here. You're going to set a link and you're going to put the link right in here and you're going to have it open in a new tab. Click select, click on save. Okay. And now I'm going to go back and just republish the site real quick republish and uh, we're going to go ahead and check it out. 
Let's see if it already appears. Because sometimes it takes a second to appear um, on the page. Here it goes. So we click over here, boom, and that'll take us to the actual form. So pretty cool. I personally like to embed it in the website because that way the person never leaves your website. I prefer this over a button. But hey, if you want to do a button, it's totally up to you. You can do it however you like. You have options, all right? So hopefully this has your wheels turning on how you can use different forms on your website to not only get content ideas, but to also get feedback, things like that. So if you have any questions or you want to know, you know, uh, how could I do this or can I do this kind of form, leave them in the comment section below and I will do my best to do a follow up video that will help you out. All right, guys and gals. Well, I hope that you found that helpful. I hope that you like JotForm. I do. I Like I said uh, in my other video, I was using SurveyMonkey for a few years and SurveyMonkey is a great software, but I just felt just for my personality, my learning style, my the way that I process information, I wanted something that was a little bit more simple, more user friendly. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I just like their I just like their interface better, it, and I like their pricing structure better. Not even gonna lie about that. So I highly encourage you to check it out. They have a free version where you have like five forms that you can submit, and you can have a hundred submissions a month. So if you are brand new at marketing and you really want to get a feel for what would people actually do if you put a survey out there and you want to analyze that information the free account will let you do just that and then as you start to grow your list then you could upgrade to a higher plan if you want but in the meantime start for free kick the tires check it out and at any time you could even do a free trial on one of the paid versions and uh, if you keep your eyes peeled, they might even send you a 50% off offer if you sign up within the first 24 hours, which is what I did, which is how I saved a bunch of money um, paying the year up front. So I'm very happy with the software. I highly recommend it. And uh, if you're anything like me and you really want to stay on top of what your audience is looking for and creating content that they actually uh, want to consume and that will help you build, that will help you move your business forward as well, then Go ahead and check out JotForm. I will have that linked right below in the description box for you. All right, guys and gals. And remember, if you want to check out more content like this, how to build your business online, how to make more sales without feeling like a pushy salesperson, I also just reopened my Rise Branding Academy, which is a five-day how to sell without selling challenge. You can go through it at your own pace. It is five days of value-packed information that is going to help you Turn the tables around, stop chasing, convincing, and calling people on the phone and get people to come to you instead. If you want to enroll absolutely free, just go to www.risebrandingacademy.com or visit my website at www.risemarketingandesign.com so you can check out all the other free challenges, academies, masterclasses, and courses that I have available for you. Go check that out. All right, guys and guys. Well, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel and make sure to hit that notification bell if you want to be alerted the next time that I upload a video to my YouTube channel. So with that being said, this has been Barbie Figueroa with Rise Marketing and Design.com. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on another video. Bye.